from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Tuesday, October 1st. So welcome to a brand new month. Hopefully you've taken the time to listen to the October energy forecast that I put out there. And of course, download the Zodiac e-guide that is going to align you with the energies of October as they come, as they go. They are tailored individually for each Zodiac so that you know the season and cycle in which you are currently in. Of course, you can access those as a Patreon subscriber and you can download them from my website. We also want to focus on the fact that coming into this brand new month, we're already smack dab in this eclipse energy. And with this new moon solar eclipse popping off in Libra energy on the second, we are already feeling the tug of war, the pull, the craziness, the chaos that eclipse season is supposed to trigger within us. There is a whole forecast, not only for the energy forecast, not only for that introduction, that overview of what October is going to bring, but there's a whole forecast for this new moon solar eclipse event. And if you want to do a deep dive, there's actually an astro class on my Patreon that you can either subscribe to or just purchase an individual ticket to that particular astro class where we do a deep dive on where these eclipses are impacting your life the most. With all of that out of the way, let me just say that the moon is still very much in Virgo energy, helping us to kind of create a little bit of order in our emotional realm and get organized in our physical realm. We again are kind of having some flashbacks to Virgo season where we identified some problems, some areas that we could improve, that we could do better in. We are going to see the moon go void, of course, at 540 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're locking into that Libra energy at 621 p.m. So not a huge amount of time that the moon will be void because of course it's going to work in our favor. We don't want things to be any more confusing, any more unstable than they actually already are. We have a very quiet, let's call it, day in the cosmos here today. Seven different aspects, all seven involve the moon, which makes this a moon day. There's going to be a lot of triggers, a lot of activations in our emotional realm. There's going to be a lot of illumination on the darker parts of our psyche, of our heart space, of our soul space, because of course, moving into a new moon, it is the dark phase of the moon. This is a death ending enclosure in order for a rebirth to actually take place. We are going to kick the day off with the moon in Virgo energy, getting into the boxing ring, squaring off with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings in this Gemini energy. Mercury rules both the Virgo energy and the Gemini energy. So this means that we're in analyzing mode. We're in observer mode. We're all up in the mental plane trying to emotionally dissect where it is that we're feeling blocked and challenged and where it is that we're resisting the changes that we know that we need to make in order to grow, in order to evolve. Normally, Jupiter would bring a little bit of optimism, a little bit of confidence, but this is a square. We're actually picking ourselves apart, beating ourselves up, breaking ourselves down. It is a necessary part of the process in order for us to be real and raw and vulnerable enough to open our mind, open our head space, our heart space, up to making some of the changes that we, up until this point, have been resisting. The moon is then going to make a harsh interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer who is retrograde in Aries energy. This is picking the scabs off the wound. This is rubbing salt in the wounds. Why? Because we just want to feel something. We want to kind of lean into this whininess, this complaining, this poor woe is me. This is all part of the darkness that we need to face under the dark phase of the moon in order for us to rebirth ourselves in a stronger form. The moon is then going to semi-square Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, the ruler over Libra season, even though she's in Scorpio energy, and the ruler over this new moon solar eclipse in Libra event. Because the moon is our emotional realm and Venus is all about the physical realm, bringing our happiness, our joy, our safety, our security into manifestation, 
she's going through a deep dive. She's going through a death and destruction of her heart space here in the Scorpio energy. She's trying to get in touch with this new version of self, this new passion, this new desire, and equally recognize the fears, the doubts, the insecurities that are holding us back from actually pivoting and pursuing a brand new path. We're not getting along. We're not in alignment. There's a lot of friction in our relationship dynamics. We are focused more on what is going wrong than what is going right. We are focusing more on, again, what needs to end and die more so than what we need to build and create. The moon is then going to trine, beautiful interaction, with Uranus, the Great Awakener, who is retrograde in Taurus energy. This is actually going to help break us out of this funk a little bit. It's going to give us a brand new perspective. This is essentially when we start picking ourselves up, dusting ourselves off, kind of adopting a better mind space, better perspective, better inner dialogue, better narrative, and start seeing things from a different lens. Now, granted, Uranus being retrograde in this Taurus energy is supposed to be highlighting for us where it is that we are resisting change, where we are holding on to the old, even though it's no longer serving a purpose. This being a trine is giving us a gentle nudge in the right direction, gaining new perspective, gaining new insight on where it is that, again, in our physical realm, there are certain structures, certain relationship dynamics, certain routines that once worked for us, that no longer work for us, that, again, we can adjust, we can improve, we can help set ourselves free. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Mars, the god of war, rolling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger. Mars is in cancer energy, not the best place to be in, but let me just say that this is a positive interaction, which means that we are tapping into a new warrior spirit. We are picking ourselves up. We are dusting ourselves off. We are getting focused on what needs to be done. We are getting focused on a new path, on a new direction in order to build a brand new foundation in our physical realms. This is definitely a pick me up. We are getting fired up in all the right ways, just in time for the moon in this Virgo energy to directly oppose and sit across from Neptune, who of course is retrograde in Pisces energy. The reason why I say that that Mars interaction was getting us prepared for that is because we really do kind of catapult into a different mood, a different attitude under that Mars activation, which means that the tension, the conflict that is being highlighted with this particular opposition between the moon and Neptune, that's going to bring a sense of confusion, a sense of delusion, a sense of losing confidence, losing sight of what we just realized with that Mars energy. Now, we do have the moon in Virgo energy coming into the final degrees, the 29th degree, which, as you know, is critically uh, karmic in situations. It's bringing forth a new perspective, a new consciousness, if you will. The moon in Virgo energy is going to be trining beautiful interaction with Pluto, the great transformer himself, who is retrograde at 29 degrees in Capricorn energy. A trine means that this is earth on earth action and Virgo and Pluto energy is amazing. Pluto does a deep dive in our psyche to kind of unearth the programming, the conditioning that again is kind of dictating our lives and not the nicest way. It's illuminating where it is that a major change, a major transformation of our perspective, of our inner dialogue is needed. And the moon in Virgo being the fixer, healer, resolver of the Zodiac is able to actually adjust our perspective, adjust our awareness, adjust our inner dialogue to break free of the limiting thoughts, the limiting restricted thoughts, perspectives, and viewpoints that, of course, we are going to unearth in our psyches. So there's going to be a major empowerment, a major boss up, if you will, in understanding where it is that, again, we're bringing new perspectives online and really challenging the old way of operating. 5.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the moon is going void, of course. The moon shifts into Libra energy at 6.21 p.m., but that concludes the astrology of the day. 